what you plan to do to uh, publicize uh, to California voters that idea of motivating. And uh, of course, I like that idea of uh, everybody gets something, gets to benefit.
seems to me is why budget stuff work is because money became a monarch that we have to overthrow as a revolution with three branches of economy. And profits work great for production. They work great for the Industrial Revolution. But now we have to give credit to education. Instead of people coming out of school with debt, they should come out of school with credit. And, and um, so what, uh, so the question boils down to, if we have a deficit that we're supposed to pay in the future, how can we turn it to a credit that can be applied for the future? It's an exact number. It's been scientifically produced. There's statistics that prove it exists. Why can't we conceptually make it something that gives us power instead of something that takes it away? Well, I think you're calling for a different kind of accounting system, which some economists do talk about, how that often when we put together national accounts, for example, we don't measure certain kinds of things that are important, like we don't take into account how much environmental degradation a particular project creates. Uh, we don't take into account how investment in certain areas creates long-term benefits. Uh, we don't take into account housework often in national, in, in like national accounts. So that yeah. I don't think you want to get away completely from the notion of measuring things and having something that, let us say, ultimately will look like money. You just want to measure things in a somewhat different way. And there are people who have been talking about that. Uh, there was just a report, I think it was Amartya Sen and uh, was it Joe Stiglitz, I think, had some report where they talked about how internationally we should have different measures of welfare uh, that take into account some of the things I just described. So there are sort of folks talking about some of these things. I don't know how that immediately could help solve the California budget crisis, however. I mean, unfortunately, we are stuck with the fact uh, that we have to have a balanced budget, and that's just the way it is. There is some report, however, that Mike Genest at one point looked into thinking about California as a federal territory or something. <laughs> I just saw something. I, 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 it sounds crazy. And then therefore, then we could uh, somehow print money or, or something. Well, I don't know. We could run a deficit. Mike Genest was the, is the head of the Department of Finance. I saw that on a web page today, so I know it must be true. Thanks, Let's move to this side of the room. Uh, yes, I'm Dan Rink. Uh, having been through the Mario Savio era here at Cal, as well as uh, constitutional reform issues brought up at the, at the federal level, uh, Committee on the Constitutional System, Doug, Doug, uh, Douglas uh, Dillon and Lloyd Cutler. Um, we run into, the, all of these are the same issues that were argued out time and time again. And my concern is that we do these institutional reform movements as a one-time take it or leave it, as we have just done the, the medical reform issue. And I'm concerned that, that this is going to be one of those in addition. It will be low key, there'll be 400 people involved uh, internally, and then it will be sprung on most people who won't have paid any attention to it. And if it indeed passes, we will be prohibited from changing it again for another 10 years. That, that would be my concern. So the question is, how do, we, how do we have, probably it's going to take a decade of institutional reform to get it right. How do we design a decade of institutional reform with, with checks and balances built in, deliberation built in, far beyond the group of 400? I think that's what we need, and is that in a provision? Well, let me just say something. The Canada a, a few years ago was thinking about changing some of its rules for electoral politics and created a series of people's assemblies where they took more or less random groups of people, got them together, brought experts together with them, and then had a lot of media attention to what was going on. And it seems to me one of the things that could complement this kind of constitutional uh, convention would be those kinds of people's assemblies that would help manufacture, if you will, news events, but maybe news events with some real substance where people were discussing these issues. Because part of the problem we suffer from in this state is that we have a media in the state that doesn't cover state politics very much. Uh, the last I looked, there was not a single television station in Sacramento except the Sacramento television stations that had reporters there. There are some print reporters in Sacramento, but we just really don't cover the state very much, so we don't know much about what's going on. Uh, uh, I think the convention actually is going to be covered pretty well. Um, if you think about 